and hello YouTube, this is GS Mammasmart, and I'm going to turn on a brand new video for tutorials to GS. In today's tutorial, we're taking a look at a GIMP, the free image editing software. And I want to show you how to get the layer styles script into your GIMP. If you ever used Photoshop before, Photoshop has a very nice layer styles option that allows you to right click a layer and you can then set outlines, inner glows, outer glows, bevels and embosses. Some of the things that you have to take some time to do in GIMP, you can do automatically in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to get those same options in GIMP today. So what you need to do is download a script uh, that will allow you to do this. This is called the layer effect script. In the description, I have a link to a download file uh, that will bring you to Dropbox and you can download the layer effects file onto your computer. When you have this file on your computer, the reason why I'm not giving you a link to an official GIMP website is because for some reason the official GIMP plugin registry site is down. There's some problem with this, so I just downloaded it myself, uploaded it to Dropbox so I can make it available to you. When you have it though, it should be in a folder here. What you want to do is just grab that file, cut it, or to copy it, just move it to the proper folder, and that proper folder will be in your C drive. And then when you're in your C drive, you're going to go to Users. In users, select your name or your computer name, and then look for the GIMP folder, which is right here. In the GIMP folder, look for the scripts folder, which is right here. And then in the scripts folder, right click, paste. And when you pasted that file in there, you can go ahead and close out of everything. Then in GIMP again, you want to go to filters, go down to script foo, and then you want to select refresh scripts. What will happen then is that a script foo icon will appear at the top of your window. There is script foo right there. Um, if you don't see it here, you may want to restart your computer because it may not have loaded properly. But then what you're able to do with this is do some pretty awesome things. Let's go ahead and create a new image here. And this size is fine. Let's zoom in a bit. And let's go ahead and create some text so I can demonstrate this for you. So let's just type in YouTube. Let's make this relatively big, 150, and let's get a nice bulky font. Bulky fonts tend to do very well with text effects, so this is this is pretty bulky. So background black. Now what you can actually do is select your text layer, and uh, whenever you add an effect, make sure you right-click your text layer and click Alpha to Selection, and uh, then you go up to Script Foo. You go to the layer effect, which is right here. It's the only script you have. If you have other scripts, it'll show up here. But for example, you have several little options here. So if you want to make a bevel and emboss effect, we can go and press that. And you have several options here you can drag. Uh, the only sad part is that there is no preview for this. It'd be great if you could preview this, but you can't really. So you'll have to, you know, continuously try different things. But if I want to get an inner bevel, for example, when I go and press OK, as you see, that basically gets generated. It's doing everything for me. And would you look at that? We didn't have to do anything. The script, the script just did it for us, and we get this really cool text effect. There are several other things you can do as well. I can go and press Control Z on that, and it'll uh, erase everything. It'll undo it. Uh, for example, say when I get an outer glow. Now I do have a tutorial on how to make an outer glow, but with this, with the script here, you don't even need to do all the work. Uh, behind creating an hour glow, you can actually just create an hour glow right here very easily. So say I want to get a yellow, this uh, weird lime type of glow, I can go and press OK, and as you can see, we get this outer glow here. So some of the really practical things that you'd be doing in GIMP manually, you can do very easily with this script. It makes it so much easier and so much quicker to get things done. Now the only problem with the script is that the pattern overlay does not work. So if you go to script foo, uh, layer effect, pattern overlay, if you want to overlay this with a wood pattern, you'll see it doesn't work. So if you do want to put a pattern over your text, the way you do that is you grab your paint bucket tool here, you press pattern fill, and then you select the pattern you want. If I want to get this wood pattern, that's fine. Then you click fill hole selection, and all you got to do is paint bucket over your text, and the pattern gets on it. So it's also very easy to do, even though the script doesn't work. You can even add things like a drop shadow very easily. You can do inner glows, all kinds of cool things. And these options are very similar to the options you have in Photoshop. So if you're, if you're familiar with Photoshop or you like Photoshop's interface in layer styles, this is basically the exact same thing and it's a really cool script that makes editing a lot easier and quicker. 
So hopefully you found this script helpful. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below. Like I said, if you want this script, the link is in the description to download from my Dropbox. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. Lots of other GIMP tutorials on the channel. Lots of other editing tutorials on the channel as well. We do image editing, video editing, audio editing. Lots of cool tutorials with different softwares on the channel. If you have any questions or comments, you're confused about anything, leave a comment down below. We'll be down to answer any questions you have. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And this is GS Smart, and I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere. Bye.